Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to look at modifying your task list. What I have here is a task list, which I've changed the view or created a view, and I've added a column called priorities and a column called rock type. So this means I can put ABC for my priorities and I can have the rock type, which is a formula, tell me whether it's a big rock or a little rock or a tiny rock. This is something from Stephen Covey that he wrote a book in the 70s, Seven Habits of Very Effective People, I think it was, something like that. He talks about big rocks to deal with first. If you do the big rocks first, you'll have plenty of time to do the little rocks and the tiny rocks. So how have I done this? So what I'm going to do is to show you this from scratch. I'll create a new view and then I'll create these. I'll have to re rename them slightly to this and I'll show you how to do the formula so you can have this. But the way it is at the moment, you can um, you can sort by clicking on the title priority as you can with any of these columns. And then all the A priorities or the big rocks come to the top. Can't sort by that formula because that's a formula looking at this. So basically you shift this column and this, this formula column rock type will react to whatever you've got there. So to create a new view, I'm going to change view, manage view, and then call in it new. I'll call it sax2, because I've already got one. I want the view to be a table. So click OK. And it asks me what I want in this table. These are the default um, columns, but I need to add a couple of columns that I've already done. And they are in the user defined fields. And I'll show you how I did this later on. So basically, priorities is the priority with the ABC, which, which I would type. It's just a text column. The rock type, if I click on properties, you can see that there's a formula in there. And this is a, a nested if statement, immediate if. So basically, if priorities says A, it's going to say big rock. If it says B, it's going to say little rock. And if it says C, it's going to say a tiny rock. There's three if statements there, so there's three close brackets at the end. I'll show you how I did that shortly. Click OK to that. OK again. So these two fields I want across. So I add priorities and add rock type to this view. Click OK. Now, you can see that I've got these changing colours depending on what letter is in the priorities column so how did I do that this is what I did I went to conditional formatting I added a task and I'll call it priority a so condition for priority a is if field user defined priorities Contains capital A, add to list, OK. If that's true, I want the font to be red. So font color red, OK to that one. And then add another one for priority B. Priority B, condition, advanced field, User defined priority equals B. Add to list. OK. I want this to be blue. Blue. OK. Add the third one and the last one. Priority C. Spell that wrong. Condition. Advanced field user defined priorities equals C add to list OK so those are my three priorities and the color of that last one is going to be cancel that wrong one color is going to be this one not very good but that'll do OK to that OK again so those are my columns, those are the conditional formatting that I've done. Clicking OK, applying the view. So now you can see the, 
the tasks are there. Um, if you don't want any of these in folder, any of these columns, you can just pull them off. Um, reminder time, I don't need that. Um, priorities are mine, so I've got that. Okay, just bring categories in a little bit. So if I change that to a, a task B, that should flick over and say little rock. And if I put this one to a task C, it should flick over and say tiny rock. And you can see the colors changing. And if I flick over and change that to task A, it changes to red, although it's a strange color red. But you can see how that works. And then I can sort at the top there to bring the top, the priority A's to the top, the big rocks to the top. Now, how have I done this? How have I created these fields? So to create the fields, I'll have to call them something different. I right clicked, I went to field chooser, and I basically, this is a list of all the fields you've got, and then you've got the fields down the bottom, the user defined fields. I'm gonna click on new. So I'll call this rock, because I can't use rock type again, so rock. It's just gonna be a text field, which is what this ABC is. So I'll click okay to that. Now the formula one, new, I'll call this, um, I should have called that one priority or something, I'll call this type. This is not gonna be text, this is going to be a formula. So you can see you've got all these different things you can do here, but formula, and then you edit the formula. And then you've got functions, fields. So I went to functions, general, and then you've got your if statement there. So this is very similar to Microsoft Project for those who are familiar with Microsoft Project. So I want to get rid of all of that in there. So I will say if um, rock, so rock is a field, so I can go for it. So I use the defined rock is equal to, is equal to A, and that has to go into quotes, comma. I want this to say, what do I want to say? Big. Close, quotes, comma. And then if I want another if, I'll just go like that again. Go find the field rock. If it's equal to B. comma, in quotes, small, close quotes, comma, one more, IIF, open bracket, field, user defined rock is equal to C, in quotes, if all that's true, this is going to be tiny, in quotes, and then when you finish that all off, you have to close all these brackets, there's three brackets, and then click OK. And if you've done a typo, it should flag that up for you. I'm just having a quick look. Unknown field, what's it not? Big, missing quotes there, you see. OK again, OK again. And then I can now drag these up there. So I'll put these over there, type, and rock so if I type A it comes up with big if I type B it comes up with small and if I type C it comes up with tiny so that's just a complete replica of what I had there except I missed a few things out but basically that's how you can create your own columns do little formulas color code using conditional formatting and then create your own views. So I hope that was of use to you guys and I will see you on the next session. Thank you for your time.